The Story of Ruth and Boaz Today's story begins in the city of Bethlehem. There was a woman named Naomi. She and her husband had two sons. One day, there was no food left in Bethlehem. So they moved to the land of Moab. But sadly, her husband died. Her sons married two local girls, Ruth and Orpah. After some years, her sons also passed away, leaving Naomi and her daughters-in-law alone. Naomi decided to return to her homeland in Bethlehem and told Ruth and Orpah to stay in Moab with their families. Orpah stayed, but Ruth loved Naomi very much and insisted on going with her. Ruth said, Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. When they arrived in Bethlehem, it was the time of the barley harvest. Ruth went to a field to pick up leftover grains so they could eat. The field belonged to a kind man named Boaz, who was related to Naomi's husband. Boaz noticed Ruth's hard work and kindness towards Naomi. He told his workers to leave extra grain for her to gather. Boaz admired Ruth's loyalty to Naomi and her strong character. Naomi was happy to see Ruth being taken care of and thought of a plan. She knew Boaz was a relative and could marry Ruth. Naomi told Ruth what to do, and Ruth went to Boaz at night, laying at his feet, to show she was willing to be his wife. Boaz was honored by Ruth's request, but knew that there was another relative who had the first right to marry her. The next day, Boaz met with this relative and the town elders. The other relative could not marry Ruth, so Boaz happily agreed to marry her. Boaz and Ruth's wedding was a joyful celebration. They soon had a baby boy named Obed, who grew up to be the grandfather of King David. Ruth, who chose to follow Naomi and her God, became an important part of God's plan and is remembered for her faithfulness and love.